What's going on and welcome back to the RTG and in this episode today we've got a lot of packs and the majority of them came from this team of the season draft objective. If you haven't checked it out get involved. It's an opportunity for you guys to get a lot of fodder and some team of the season guarantees. So not only do we have this to open straight away we've got our weekly team of the season pick and we've got some nice content coming up. We start we finish with blues just the way we like it. Left wing the guy from the MLS 90 rated or something that I'm never ever going to use. But that's fine, that's fine. These usually give out blues. For me anyway. 85 plus times 4, it is a blue. It is a blue. Serie A blue as well, come on. I'll take it again. 95 so... What? Is that a double walkout or not? I don't know, it's not a double walkout, is it? No, it didn't pop up straight away. But wow, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was uh, expecting two walkouts there. And with that being 95, wow, we would have packed an endgame. Absolute endgame. An 86 times 3, no back-to-back -back blues. That's fine though. It's okay. If that's Trent again, I'm going to have to definitely put that into the exchange. It is 84 this time. Seriously. Oh, come on. From that 87 then, that's got to be a blue. Trent, how many times have I got Trent? Allison double. Oh, good, good, good. Fodder is fodder. Bon Matty, nice. 87. Okay, give me a chance. Brella, Bastone, Dybala to try. I'm guessing it's going to be from this. It's going to be from this, boys. It had to be a blue. Spanish center mids. Go on, give me a big double then. Bormati again. Oh, Patry and Costina. Costina, right wing back. Not sure, actually. A long ball and anticipate with Relentless. Think back to when we got, you know, Foden. Randomly bang like that from a Serie A cup. So let's do it. Serie A team of the season guarantee. It's time now, EA. Bless my account even more. English center back. Ah, it gave me a center back, but not Bastoni. Who are you? Oh, uh, Smalling. Smalling, Smalling, Smalling. Smalling with Aerial Plus, though. Shall I test him out? 87 pace. Very nice pace split. Really good defending, physicality, composure. Just doesn't have anticipate. Believe that it's going to be good, and it might just happen for me on the RTG. 1-3-90 plus. Let's go. Come on. Surprise me. Oh, nah. I thought that was better than it was. Patry again. So already we've got a couple of really nice players lined up for our elite rival session. And I haven't played any this week. So we're needing to get seven wins right here, right now. But one of those players included in the run is going to be Chris Smalling. Like his pace split, 87, which is great. Physicality, the presence that I feel like we're going to get from him. He could be a very, very nice center back. So we're going to be running him alongside Ramos that I've lost 100,000 coins on. But I had no real intention to sell anyway. So it is what it is. But another pickup is this Berardi for 140,000 coins. He genuinely looks remarkable. His stats are ridiculous. The dribbling pace, everything, and even the play styles. And I've always wanted to test out a version of Berardi on the game. So here's our opportunity. Uh, DeMarco's still in the side. It's just something about him that I've been really enjoying lately. And then the Ferguson gives you more of that cheaper alternative to the Zaya Emery, the Gundawans and stuff. So I want to see how he can play as I got him as a red. And then with Hosolu, this is the big moment, right? He played very well in the playoffs, but can he do it in the elite division? Because it's the ultimate team of the season coming up this week in Foot Champions. Like, I've got to get used to this squad. So let's go and smash out these games. And then afterwards, we're going to open the 84 times sevens times threes. Let's go. Allison, Bastoni. We need him. We do. Damn, that's a good ball. Oh, Olivier Giroud. Ah, Olivier Giroud, for Christ's sake, that was a good passer. Just like the other day, Hosselu. Just like the other day. Come on. Too easy with him. DeMarco, though. Get ready for DeMarco. Hosselu. Nah, he's still got it, boys. Like, he, he, seriously, he's still got this finishing. Like, you're not going to forget that, are you? I've already run to stop that. Whoa. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm just getting done on the break a bit too much. DeMarco, DeMarco. Uh, sorry, Brady. Brady? Oh, yeah, a little bit fortunate. But then this guy is trying to kick off me. So, you know, he deserves all this bad luck. Brady. Yes. And Kunku. Brady again. I tell you, you've got to try out all these team of the seasons. Oh, Foden. Brody. Who's got it? What? Brody. Who had that? I was about to shoot. I was about to shoot with Brody, and the ball somehow was taken off of me. It went behind. 
I don't know. It was at Bastoni then in that situation. Now nah, we scored a nasty bicycle kick though the other day. I should just whack it into him. Oh, small in, small in, small in. Wow, Olivier Giroud. He might be him, boys. Oh, I've got Chris Morden with like 99 strength and I could not push him off the ball at all. Nah, it's... Oh, I, I, Hossel, whoa. Go on, get it back. Just glitching him. Across. Hosselu. Come on, man. Hosselu. Seriously. He's even body fainting the defender after he's scored a goal. Celebrating. Give him a chance to get back into position. Left stick dribbling. Just left stick. Left stick, left stick. And a little bit of boost. Left stick, left stick. Wow. No, his left stick dribbling is phenomenal on Berardi. Berardi, four goals. Damn, that is a good debut. Hunde, Smallin, Charlton, Bobby Charlton. Well, he's bagging a hat trick against me. Phil. Phil, 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 Phil. Yes. Oh, no. Berardi. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Wow. Suzuko's, like, kind of destroyed me in this game a little bit. That was obvious, but yeah, Suzuko's done a very good job. He keeps, like, tackling from behind. Musa Suzuko. Being a little bit cheeky. Berardi. What? Nah, that was unreal. Hosselu, cold. Love it. What a bit of play, though, from Berardi. Damn. Unorthodox, but Jesus, he's he's been all right. Well done, Ramos. Who's that? Hosselu. Nice. And Kunku. Come on, that is a clean goal. Wonderful, Hosselu. Him having the five-star skills is very, very handy. Bruno Fernandes, 95, team of the season. No, not Olivier Giroud again. He did ruin me a little bit. Chip. Berardi. Come on. Come on. No, I should have just shot. What have you done? Why have you done that? Doesn't really give the opponent a chance to get the rebounds against him. I mean, if I give it to him like that, though, he will. Yo, Ramos. Ramos, Ramos, Ramos. You can't deal with Olivier Giroud, it seems. Good, 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 good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, this is nice. Got to do something with it, though. Ferguson. Come on, that's a wonderful goal. Probably feels very similar to Hosselu and what he's offering. Brody, that's wonderful. Hosselu. Now that is incredible. When you really think about it, the man's six foot four, right? Six foot. Look at that dribbling from Hosselu. Rudiger, Marquinhos. Olivier Zhu again. Now nah, there's too much love for this guy. I can't see them re releasing a Neymar. I think he's just going to be so, so rare. Possibly. The extra pass. Whoa! Oh. Ah, it's Olivier Giroud again. But this game is proven to be a little bit of a test right now. Oh, that is a tackle. Berardi. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, the one thing about his card, left stick dribbling. Oh, that could be risky now, Ramos. Big switch. This is... This is but I wanted it there anyway. Foda. Nkunku. Nkunku. 82nd minute. What a game. Is this, what, five, six wins on the bounce? Messi, Smith, Morgan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have slid... Ferguson, first goal for the club. Ferguson, solid, but he's still amazing. Well done, Berardi. Whoa! Hey, hey, Berardi, come on, on the last game. I like those shots across goal from that position. Wow, yeah, Morgan is very good. Well done. Oh, that's a goal finishing is absolutely insane that was the her left foot across goal so in the end we did take a loss to alex morgan and i gotta say she's nice and you gotta be careful because that rapid nature of her the finishing composure she will catch you out 100 and likewise with team of the season olivier Giroud, these are the two players right now that i'm struggling to play against and they are noticeably making changes and do, doing things in game against me like they're mad uh, but we were seven wins with one loss in the elite div that's quality crazy consistency and hosselu still is performing well 
But we're going to get into these. Uh, I did some player picks, like the Team of the Week ones, and I haven't pulled Bissek. I'm trying to get him so I can do the Evo, but it is what it is. I don't think it's ever going to happen. It's impossible to snipe, so the only way that we're going to be able to get an Evo Bissek is, well, to pack him from one of those. But let's get into it. 84 plus times 7. And Berardi, by the way, is actually really good. I've got to sold him, though, for like 145,000 just so I don't continue to lose coins because I feel like the sooner and the closer we get to the ultimate team of the season, all of this stuff is just going to come down a little bit. Even my Ramos, I might lose some more coins on him. But he's been good. He's been really, really good. Uh, but yeah, for real, though, the Berardi I'll speak about in a bit. Like, he's all right. He is all right. Uh, that one there, though, isn't. That's not great. Round two of our 84 plus times sevens. Are there any blues in packs? I feel like with the pack weight, though, it's reminded me very similar to the Bundesliga. Like, it was so incredibly difficult to get anything of value. And now, ooh, Paredes. I've actually seen a really good showdown version of her. She received, like, the showdown winner's boost. And I'm sure in game, she's going to be fine. Oh, uh, did I mention when I was doing the draft and I just, like, basically uh, smashed out all of those games... Uh, we were trying out uh, Kulibali. He's not bad. Uh, the Gulovin, by the way, even though he's got four star, four star, that Gulovin moves like just in insane. Like go and test him out. He's going to be very, very cheap as well. Gulovin team of the season. He's all right, you know. Uh, but that's again not very good. The last one it is, and keep your toes crossed, your fingers crossed for me right now. It's still not a blue. What a waste of time crafting these packs, and it's going to be an 86, really, an 86 Kante. God damn, not even like good fodder value as well. Yeah, yeah. It's really bad right now. Really, really bad. So you must have heard me saying about Berardi's left stick dribbling. And if you're going to add that to like LB and stuff and try and manipulate the ball, he has some of the craziest tight turns and I was able to get some pretty good chances and goals with him. And the dead ball specialist, the power shot. I wish he had some better play styles. And one of those would have been technical plus. I think on this card in his style, he would have been an absolute machine. But that's the only thing that I feel he's not amazing with. Like, you can still do it. But then comparing him to the Lookman that we have that we unlocked through the SBC, I feel like he's just going to be my right forward for this weekend. But the base finesse shot is really handy. And I was getting some nice goals with him. He scored um, seven goals in seven games with a couple of assists, which isn't a terrible return. But I don't fancy losing any more coins. And like I say, the idea that I've got anyway with the team is to play Lookman in the right wing position. So he's going to be back in the side. It's a shame, though, that he doesn't have the finesse. But just the double five star, the technical, he does remind me and resemble like an Nkunku in a way. Like they're basically like very, very similar with how they're going to be performing in game. So yeah, he's going to be my right winger most likely unless I go and pack some crazy stuff on Thursday. Uh, Hosolu, it, well, I've got some good news, boys. He has 19, well, it would have been technically uh, 17 games, 39 goals, 13 assists across the Butchamp playoffs as well as the Elite Division. And they still can't stop him, not from the corners, not like technical. Uh, he's just, he's got it. He, he literally is a very, very good card for me. So it is very risky, though, taking someone like a six foot four Hosolu into the ultimate team of the season for foot champions. But the guy deserves it. And he's going to be my main striker. Like genuinely, he's going to be in the team. So he's nailed in. Um, Ramos, I know it's an expensive buy. Like we originally bought him for 1.4 million, but 19 games now. And I just like the way he's been tackling, positioning, like he's, he's solid. But I still want to try Bastoni, really, really do. Smallin, there were some games genuinely where he was outperforming Ramos. Although it's a team effort, and I mean, I wasn't conceding that many goals, but there were plays where he was just, you know, dominating. So I don't think you should sleep on this card. Like, give him a go, seriously. Give him a go. Um, I did whip him out, though, a couple of games towards the end to try out the Akanji just to see how that was feeling alongside the Ramos, because I, I believe like that's going to be more like my weekly setup. And I still like Akanji as well, so I don't know. There's not a crazy amount in it because he was good. Like, I can't say too much. And that quick step and press proven on him is pretty handy. So, yeah, I can't say too much there. Uh, DeMarco, just, I don't know what it is about this card, but I just want to continue using him. It's just something about what he's offering. Maybe because Havertz, like, restricts you a little bit with his dribbling at times, but still, like, pretty good on the ball for a, for a tall man. But DeMarco just is zippy. He's got the incisive. He's got good passing. I don't know. He's just good. He's just really, really good to test him out. And Ferguson was sound as well. Like, you, you do feel a little bit of fodder, like, every now and then with some of his plays, maybe twisting and turning on the ball. But with the, the, the shot that I got with him, the assist, the, the up and down uh, nature, like the, the pace, the strength, like he's physical. He's all right. So test him out as well. So I would say all in all, we had a really, really good session in Rivals and I'm playing pretty well, ready for the ultimate tots anyway. So 
keep our fingers crossed that we can continue this form and we're ready for the uh, yeah, weekend league. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And make sure you test out not only Alex Morgan, but that Olivier Giroud. I think Giroud is special, man. He's basically like a Hosselu. Well, I got already got Hosselu, but Olivier Giroud. Let me know if you've been enjoying him. Because, wow, he is tough to play against. But thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.